Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and it's time to finish Attack on Titan. This is it, this is the second part of the finale, um, an hour and a half long, so it is essentially like, what, four or five episodes combined? Um, so it's going to be quite a watch, um, which means that the reaction is going to be a little bit longer than normal, um, but still not equivalent to the length of four or five reactions. Um, if you do want to see my full reaction to the entire thing, you can find it on Patreon in the link below. The only thing that you need is a copy of the episode because it is without picture in picture. It is just a timer instead. Um, but like I say, I'm going to try and do my best to include all of the best moments to this reaction. Um, now, trying to avoid spoilers for this has been um, an interesting journey. I am thankfully completely unspoiled. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen in this last hour and a half special. Um, but obviously, this has been out for a while now. Um, I think it released in maybe April or May of last year, um, 2023. And we sit here sort of mid-January as the time of recording. I know that this is probably going to be on YouTube in about April time. Um, given the kind of sort of scheduled release of all the episodes that I have. Um, and, you know, the, the dub came out just a week ago. That's been, I think, the stifling point for a lot of people, um, is that for the last seven or eight months, the finale's only been available in the sub version, um, which is fine if you are, you know, a sub preferer, if you, if you prefer the sub. Um, I always like the dub. I've watched Attack on Titan in dub all the way, so I, I didn't want to, um, you know, change at the last minute for the very last episode. It would have been too drastic an effect for me. Um, but it kind of worked out well because, you know, I finished the uh, 28th episode about a month ago, and then I watched the first half of the special about two weeks ago. And so now it's all still fresh in the mind. Uh, we're still ready to, to go. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm quite ready for the journey to end, but I think that it does need to end. It does need to get to a point now where we find out what's really going to happen, what the motivations are, um, what Eren's game plan is. Because again, the longer that we go, the more that I'm kind of convinced that there is no game plan. Although I've wavered back and forth on that over the last few episodes so um yeah I, I i don't know what to expect we lost hanji in the last episode which was difficult to take i feel like we're going to lose more people in this last hour and a half the only thing that i hope we don't get is some kind of you know plot armor that comes in and suddenly you know saves everyone um i want everything to make sense from a character motivation perspective and from a logical perspective. And I know that's not always the case. I know that, you know, landing the ending for a lot of shows can be a struggle. Um, and very often the enjoyability of a show is more in the journey rather than the end. But I've got faith. I've got faith that this is gonna this is gonna land. This is gonna stick the landing. Um but I just don't know who's gonna survive it. And it will be difficult to lose any of these characters now because obviously we've we've seen so many characters through the show get killed. Um, and we're now at that kind of core sort of number of people that we more or less have been around since the beginning. And so um, I just want us to, if someone does go, I want it to go, I want them to go in a way that is meaningful, you know, like Hanji in the last episode. So yes, for the last time ever, let's jump in to attack on Titan. He's gonna land on... Oh, no, I was gonna say, that's not gonna work out well. That's the armored Titan. And the court Titan's there, too. You have yeah, to... Yeah, I know! <laughs> exactly one minute He's got a now. nuke. I'll blast these bones apart. Use the cart to get clear. What's Mikasa gonna do? Aware that this attack might be coming, so I Are your instincts gonna kick in? But still, no more clinging to false hope for comfort. Yep. I have to deal with. Uh oh. Aaron. Uh oh. What is that? That is a mouth. Oh, he's not. Is it Ymir? The hell is that? Aaron! 
Oh no. That's not good. Which means he's being restrained, but he's not hurt. Yeah. They're being very careful. Is that he was whisked off towards Aaron's ass. <laughs> yeah. And they got weapons. I saw one with a fucking big hammer. Okay, yeah, we are starting pretty heavy. She is dead. She's been pitchforked. Oh shit, there's Galliard. Wait, does that also mean that they've got... No! No! Oh. Does that mean that they've also got the Colossal Titan as well? Could Berthold be here? That's the thing, are there actual people in there? Because they're not, they're just husks. So where's that blood coming from? That's Berthold. The previous Colossal Titan. Yes, he's there. Slightly restricted mind. Oh god, how... How fucking cruel. How cruel for him to go like that. Damn it. Are you kidding? This is looking very bad. I'm sorry. Oh, he survived. Shot. I'm not sure what to do. Me neither. My right trigger got busted somehow. So I can't pull us up. Of course it's these no, two. Just let me go. He's not gonna let you go. One more time. <laughs> she is so graceful. Oh my god, look at that. It's like a snake. Or a turtle. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a... No! Captain! Fucking hell. He's gonna... This is so bad. <laughs> she... Yeah. What? Falco. Yep, the civilian's gonna help. Are those refugees? No, look close. Their sleeves are faded where the armbands used to be. Huh. Your Eldians, right? Oh, fuck off with this. Wait, Have we not been through enough? We got wounded. <sighs> Yeah, well, we don't have time to give it. Falco, look out for projectiles. Oh my goodness, there's archers? Incoming! Thank you. They really saved, like, everything for the last fight, didn't they? Yes. That's going to be Annie, isn't it? Oh, peek. <laughs> She's transforming again. Yep. Nice. I can't get close enough. Nice. Yes. Booster. Damn, that's called momentum. She's like a rocket. Oh, they're protecting it. Ah! Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. She has a baby. Ha! <laughs> oh god. It's the Schindler's List. 
way of focusing on a person. Oh my goodness. Save the baby! I need to think. Is that Zeke? Is he now building the Titans? Relegated to Ymir's job? He is. Hello, Zeke. So to make us run from death, life cursed us. With fear, like anyone, she did again. She just getting very spiritual right now. Very philosophical. She created a stronger, larger, seemingly immortal body, uh -huh. and then she escaped into a world where death doesn't even exist. My comrades are still fighting up there, and we still have time to save countless people from a terrifying end. People are fighting. Yeah, here as we babies speak. are getting burned. Be so often to lose. Hello, yes. Death in time. Why fight so hard to delay it? I'd rather not be burned alive. That's why. I suspect that we might find ourselves or crushed. Pain. No longer manipulated by the body's urges, or driven to multiply without knowing if any of this has a point. Like I get it. Like this is a very real life philosophy. It's pointless. In a trillion years, we'll all be dead and gone. The universe will be dead. So what's the point? But that's the point of living. So you can enjoy what time you have. The sun was starting to set. And those insignificant moments were incredibly precious. It's the baseball for him. Oh, everyone perceives it differently. It's what makes life special. Those moments. But even though this isn't useful to me, even though I'm sure it'll never help me to multiply. Yeah, we've got to get to that moment where everything looks hopeless. It's happened a couple of times. But this, I feel like, is the moment. Oh, is that battle? Oh, nice shot, Gabby. In the eye. Ooh, okay, that's blood. You can transform if you want. But everyone's still too close. Come on, I've been waiting for this colossal titan transformation. Damn. Has something happened? I wonder if Zeke's putting it in the makeup, isn't he? It's Zeke. <laughs> oh. If only I'd had eyes for things like this sooner. Huh. Well, the bigger picture. Ooh. <laughs> Levi certainly did not. <laughs> wow. Um. Okay, uh, I was just thinking that maybe he would survive. <sighs> nope, Levi. Determined. <laughs> what the hell? Stopped. Suicidal mania! <laughs> Do it. I still don't think. I mean, it, yeah, it's not going to kill Aaron. I don't think. It's just gonna reattach, I think. Oh, it's there. That thing, it's, it's in its pure form. Yeah. Then we never could have brought it in. God, that's such a good shot. That's so cool. Do it. Goodbye. Fucking hell. What the hell? Don't tell me that's going to be the attack, Titan. That figures. It only makes 
sense that he would have survived as well. Yeah, but what do we do now? Yeah. Oh, he's something else again. Could this be the same gas that they used on Ragako Village? Oh no, everyone's gonna turn into Titans. Get up, Falco! We need to leave! I don't get it. What's going on? Oh no. Humans and Titan wielders are immune, remember? You know what's coming better than we do. So you know what needs doing. But that that can't be. Whoa, just imagine that reunion and then all the parents get turned into Titans. Oh no, Connie and Wallet, you can't leave them behind. So this is how we go out. No. So we'll entrust the rest to our comrades. Just like all the scouts who came before us did. That's very cruel for Connie as well. God damn. <laughs> God damn, Reiner is an MVP, you know? He's turned out so differently. Gabby as well, fuck. No, Gabby's up on the... Gabby's up on the... Uh, Falco, isn't she? On the day we ran away and came here, we gave up our chance to change things. We ran away? Marley's war ended two months ago. So the invasion of Paradis should start pretty soon. And running is the only way to survive. What? It's hard, though. I'm sure that Armin's been desperate to find us. But there's no way. Is this some sort of History alternate timeline bullshit? A cycle of killing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Levi. Are you kidding me? The animation on this is very impressive. Oh, he's awake. I was through his neck. I thought she was gonna like cut him down from his, like, you know, I don't know. I didn't think she'd cut him through the neck. She's kissing the decapitated head of her best friend. Huh? What? Why? I'm not getting the symbology. I slaughter most of humanity and trigger a civil war in parity. What's more, I give my best friends no choice. Except to face me in the founder in battle. Yeah. I got no clue if they live. And all of your other friends die so or become I'm titans. I'm sure you saw at the metal ceremony. Pluto would have died, but he had to live. So huh? I, so I sent it away from him and towards mom. He killed his own mum? Let's go. So, back when this all started, he did things go with her? With her? He can control Titans in the past. Do you really think she's going to be able to forget you and live happily with somebody else? And I hope she does forget about you because she deserves to be happy. But hey, the good news is I know one charming young girl she's pretty close to already. What is this? What is this craziness? I don't want her to find someone else. I am so utterly, bizarrely confounded. I think it should take her ten years at least. We don't have to give up. We can find another way. We can't. I'm sure all the people I crushed wanted to live too. And yet... Yeah. You're in a river of blood. So they've somehow connected... Armin and Eren... I end up killing 80% of humanity. 
80%. I'm fairly certain that's in the hundreds of millions. What? Because I wanted to see this sight. Why? why? Why does that make you sound like a I don't psychopath? I don't know why. I just know that I wanted it so very badly. That makes no sense. Assuming it exists in hell. We must spend eternity <laughs> suffering for every single life that we stole. Okay. Together. Wow, what an inspiring message in this finale. Boy, that's, that's what good friendships are based on. The hopes of reuniting in hell after killing millions of people. And now he remembers. Wait, this is... Can we just keep the timeline straightforward? That's when he remembered. Okay. Well, that's when he had that vision. When he died. Or no, when he got injured. I don't know. Oh, this is such a mindfuck. Mom. Who is that in the background? <laughs> I don't think that I'm the armored titan anymore. I don't think there's any titans anymore. Really? Does that mean everyone gets to live? No one so is stuck with 14 years or 13 years. <laughs> I ever needed. As those battered people try to rebuild, their worst fears are coming true. <sighs> Under Jaeger's oh my god. Rule, the nation of Eldia is rapidly building its military strength. That's definitely got Nazi ish. Out of fear of reprisal from the survivors yeah. of humanity across the sea, the island shouts with one voice Kill or be killed. Fight for your life. <laughs> this series really is just the like saying, fuck you. Fight. But if we must fight, let it be for an end to fighting. That makes no and sense. That this war would go on until either Eldia or the world was gone. You didn't stop a war. End, he left it in our hands. Now with this brief, you just killed most of the people. To choose. Kind of figured we'd finish with these two. She didn't get rid of the uh, scarf, either. Let me wrong, it looks very nice about the walls. Oh boy. Um Hmm. <laughs> I I would be lying if I said anything other than I was conflicted right now. Um I'm I, again, just just fair warning, I I don't interpret things exactly as they I, I'm not very good at interpreting things as they're probably meant. Sometimes I can pick up on underlying tones, underlying messages. I can pick up on the subtext. Sometimes I struggle. I do find that sometimes with anime, I tend to struggle a little with the subtext and the bigger meaning of things. And right now, I'm trying to desperately think of what the bigger meaning of that whole fucking thing was. Because being quite honest, I did not like the way that went. Now, that might be my fault for expecting some kind of a happy ending or some kind of a positive ending or some kind of ending that at least saw us have the characters even justify, you know, all of the devastation. But it kind of just feels like it, it said to us, yeah, we took the main character of the show whose journey we followed for a long time, who suffered through a lot, whose determination and fight we rooted for, with his friends, who we rooted for, who we wanted them to all, to see them succeed and live and be happy. And maybe I was wrong to expect that to be the end result. Maybe this isn't a show that you know, you get a happy ending. Because I, I, I'm struggling again to even just think about how that ending is even... 
I, I'm trying to take the positives from it, and I'm struggling right now. And I'm still very in the moment, so it is still very raw. So again, my thoughts and feelings on this might mellow over time. But sitting here right now, thinking about the trajectory of this entire show, it almost feels like season four was written in a completely different setting with different characters by different people. It doesn't feel properly connected to those first three seasons. And I can accept, obviously, the story expanding beyond the walls, the bigger world being involved with the newer technologies and the deeper lore behind Titans. Um, that's all to be expected. You know, that's part of finishing the show. You know, you have to learn the origins. You have to learn the reasons behind everything that's happened. But it seemed to be so confused in this final, you know, kind of arc. Like... I don't need, I don't, I'm not so stupid that I need things spelled out on a plate for me. But at the same time, you know, give me something to go on. Give me something that at least erases any doubt as to what you're trying to tell me. You know, all, all of those scenes with Eren talking to Armin and, or, you know, Mikasa, you know, again, because it's all in the past, present, future, it's all mixed around. It's kind of like, it, it does confuse you. In in amongst the chaos of a final episode where the first 45 minutes is an intense fight scene. And I, I really liked that entire fight scene and the way that we saw um, Armin talking to Zeke and Zeke being broken out of this kind of... I thought you were stuck then. I thought you were... He's looking up. I've got a clock up there. I thought he was like... You know. Um, you know, Zeke kind of seeing the bigger picture. And because he was molding the Titans, those Titans then begin to turn. I thought that was done great. I thought that was a great turning point in the fight, you know. But it's the end result of that after the fight was over that's really kind of... You know, gotten me. Yes, it's great that the Titans no longer exist. That all of the people who were Titans no longer are Titans. Although it sucks for the people who were Titans who got killed um the hundreds of millions of people are still dead kids kids are dead you know and i still don't understand the justification for it in the end it seemed to me like Aaron was just saying well this is just the way it should be i've tried i can't do anything different you know and at first it kind of felt like he's doing it because, as he said, he wanted them to be perceived as heroes. And that, for me, was just the most batshit, insane, psychopathic thinking that I could come across. And it's kind of like, it's just not expected from that character of the first three seasons. Sure, does getting the memories from his dad fuck him up? Maybe. Does that change him as a person? Is he no longer that Eren? Maybe. Is that what I wanted? No. Do I appreciate them trying to do something different? Sure. But is it? Did it work? I don't think it did. I, I, I and I think you know my analysis of this show and this final season is probably going to be as disjointed as the final season itself. Like you know, every I I I could say that I followed everything up until the rumbling actually started. You know, I could see the logistical, the, the logical thinking behind it. I could see you know how events trampled on top of each other and i suppose when i still had that hope that there was something more you know something deeper um that erin had planned maybe that's what got me through it because i was thinking okay well the rumbling will be stopped will be stopped you know erin working with zeke will turn out to be a fallacy it'll be something else and they kind of teased it a few times and and yes it didn't quite work out the way that zeke wanted and erin didn't agree with zeke's plan but it just turned out that he had an even worse plan I, I am honestly going to be very interested in seeing how other people reacted to this finale, like what their thoughts were, because for me, it just, it, it was a mess. It was an absolute mess. And like the message just seemed to be, especially with the way the parody just ended up being almost like a Nazi-like state with the way they were trying to evoke the imagery. That for me was kind of like, okay, so this was all for nothing because parody still becomes that island that, the entire world tried to paint it as, you know, a warlike, vicious people. You know, there was no peace. And and who knows what, you know, the group were able to determine by the end, you know, whether they made peace with parody. I, I don't know. It certainly in that in that credit sequence, it certainly seemed like war continued on. 
um, at different levels. Like, you can never stop, you know, you can never stop humanity's obsession with war and violence. That's a pretty shitty message, if that's the way that I'm interpreting it right. You know, I just, I wanted people to be happy. And we didn't even necessarily get to see what happened to the characters, like, years down the line. I mean, yes, we got to see them all together. But were they happy? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know what to think of this. I, I don't want to amble on too long about my thoughts and feelings because I'm just going to get more and more confused the more I think about it. Um, and it might call for a completely separate video. To, you know, once I've had a few days to sit down and think. Um, and I can actually have a clearer perspective of things. You know, because right now, obviously, I'm just in the moment. So I might, I might do that. I might give it a few days to think it over. Um, you know, at best, I would say the finale was messy with some good moments and a disappointing kind of end. At worst, I would say that it's kind of, you know, certainly the back half of season four has kind of completely derailed the show. That's that's my kind of thinking right now. I'm, I'm stuck between those those two thoughts. And again, if I've missed some subtext here, if I'm missing out on the deeper meaning of that ending, that's on me, I guess. Um, maybe I do need it spelled out on a plate, but uh, I don't know. This is a time when your comments come in handy because I really need to know more about what you think of it um, and what I'm missing. Or if I'm not missing anything, I need your reassurance that you also agree. Um, it just it just feels like any... It just I don't know just feels so disjointed it, it, it's almost like it didn't end i don't know anyway uh, yeah that, that was it that was attack on titan um i'll give you a few days and i might make another video about you know my feelings overall so anyway thank you for watching see you soon